that's exactly it. Like, a lot of games are very reticent to let characters just... Not, not even just die. Like, age. Like, age and then, like, pass on. At, like, uh, due to not... Safety and peace. Due to whatever reason. Your presence here deprives me of both. What do you want? Al-Muallam has asked. Asked that you perform some menial task in an effort to redeem yourself. So be out with it. Tell me what you can about the one they call Talal. It is your duty to locate and assassinate the man, Altair. Not mine. You'd do well to assist me. His death benefits the entire land. Do you deny his death benefits you as well? Such things do not concern you. Your actions very much concern me. Then don't help me. I'll find him myself. <sighs> wait, wait. It won't do having you stumble about the city like a blind man. Better you know where to begin your search. I'm listening. I can think of three places. South of here in the markets that line the border between the Muslim and Jewish districts. To the north near the mosque of this district and east in front of St. Anne's Church. Close to the Babariha gate. Is that everything? It's enough to get you started and more than you deserve. Now, in case you forgot, this dude, Malik, is literally the one whose brother we got killed at the start of the game. He has a very natural reason to be pissed off at us. But, um... Kelly, that's an interesting point. The idea that, uh... This era of games was one where you got... Where, like, you were often a able to, like, at least walk around around mid cutscene. Although, that kind of stops being true in Assassin's Creed 2. Like, Assassin's Creed 2 and onward, they, they do have very discreet cutscenes. You don't control Ezio during most cutscenes. See, he has animations he's showing off. Probably the reason why Ezio is more beloved, because you actually, like, because he has a more defined character than Altair does. <laughs> Though you do have the occasional walk and talk in Assassin's Creed 2. There are a lot of cutscenes. Yeah, because they were trying to do Half-Life 2, right? Where Half-Life 2 was like this seminal work, and the one of the defining things about it was that everything was in engine. Even the so-called cutscenes were in engine. Um. So they were trying, like, Half-Life 2 is, like, influence on games, um, was felt strongly then, is still felt to this day, just not to the same degree. Your presence annoys me. Right. Who do I have to punch? Who is the target? I think I'm so heavy now. Pickpocket, okay. Be gone, face. If the guard won't take action, it falls to us to do something. What you propose is madness, but necessary. How many more will we allow to go missing before the people take a stand? It does not affect us. Not yet. But if we continue to do nothing, it will. And what do you propose? I've watched the man. Learned everything there is to know about his operation. It's all here on a map I've made. He inspects his stock every day at the same time. This is when I'll strike. So you have a piece of paper. It won't save you when you're discovered. Won't shield you from their swords and arrows. If all goes well, it won't come to that. Anyway, it's a risk I'll have to take. Wish me luck, my friend. Indeed, you'll need it. Nah, we're just gonna we're gonna we're gonna do this for you. Well, let's take that map from you and we'll do the assassination, actually. Fuck you. You don't get to do your assassination. That's our, that's our job. 
Heart's in the right place, but uh, you're not good enough. Okay, that's pretty cool. Like, this is the guy who gets the, uh, the patience for the other guy. Because this is, because we talked about, we talked in the last time about him getting his patience from Jerusalem. So, uh, if he's, if some, if our target here is getting kidnapping people from Jerusalem, that means that he's probably the one supplying the other guy with the, uh, the, the patience for his experiments. The continuity between targets is actually quite quite interesting. Malik, come to waste more of my time. I found Talal. I'm ready to begin my mission. That is for me to decide. Very well. Here's what I know. He traffics in human lives, kidnapping Jerusalem citizens and selling them into slavery. His base is a warehouse located inside the Barbican, north of here. As we speak, he prepares a caravan for travel. I'll strike while he's inspecting his stock. If I can avoid his men, Talal himself should prove little challenge. Little challenge? Listen to you. Such arrogance. Are we finished? Are you satisfied with what I've learned? No. But it will have to do. Rest, prepare, cry in the corner. Do whatever it is you do before a mission. Only make sure you do it quietly. I, again, I, I like how much the people of the Order fucking hate Altair. Hate his fucking guts. I actually quite like that. I don't want to move my fingers when I don't have to, so I don't move my fingers during cutscenes. Plus, it helps with the immersion if I don't like try to break immersion. I, I like to be, I like to, to try to immerse myself in, in the game when, when, when possible. I know that word is overused, um, but I like to at least like try to meet the game halfway. We're going on a round level. That's fine. If you value your life, you will give up. Please, can't you spare something? I'm poor and sick and hungry. Uh, yeah, I know you're sick and hungry, but I don't care. Die sick. Die hungry. Go away. Who saw me? We'll save. We'll save. Let's save the scholar. 
Maybe the scholar will help me get into the building. Either. You've done me a kindness, young man. Be assured. I the lip syncing is none. There is none lip syncing going on right now. Who the fuck are you? I hate the guards in this game sometimes. Or at least gone from there. Of course they would. Why would they be gone? Alright. That is fine. That is fine. This will climb us way out, way in. Away with you. You shouldn't be here. Be gone. Man, throwing knives are really useful. Well, this is a way in. Leave this place. It's okay, we don't need knives. There's a luxury, we don't need them. Make room. Just a few coins, please. No. No coins. No coins for you. Die mad. Die mad. Slaver. Do not call me that. I only wish to help them. As I myself was helped. Help you me. do no kindness imprisoning Save them me. like this. Imprisoning them? 
I keep them safe, preparing them for the journey that lies ahead. What journey? It is a life of servitude. <laughs> you know nothing. It was folly to even bring you here. To think that you might see and understand. I understand well enough. Show yourself. All right. Ah, so you want to see the man who called you here. You did not call me here. I came on my own. <laughs> did you? Who unbarred the door? Cleared the path? Did you once raise your blade against a single man of mine, huh? No. All this... I actually raised your bl my blade against a couple of your men, dude. A couple of them. I did for you. Step into the light, then. And I will grant you one final favor. Now I stand before you. What is it you desire? Come down here. Let us settle this with honor. Why must it always come to violence? It seems I cannot help you, for you do not wish to help yourself. And I cannot allow my work to be threatened. You leave me no choice. You must die. <laughs> this would teach you not to trespass. <laughs> That the hidden blade is bugged with a sound effect. What's wrong with you? This man. Bye. More important things to do and take care of you. Can you more than me, Miss Jordan? Stop running, coward! There we go! Got him! You've nowhere to run now. Share your secrets with me. My part is played. The Brotherhood is not so weak that my death will stop its work. What Brotherhood? Al Mualim is not the only one with designs upon the Holy Land. And that's all you'll have from me. Then we are finished. Beg forgiveness from your God. He's long abandoned us. Long abandoned the men and women I took into my arms. What do you mean? Beggars, whores, addicts, lepers. Do they strike you as proper slaves? Unfit for even the most menial tasks? No. I took them not to sell, but to save. And yet you'd kill us all. For no other reason than it was asked of you. No. You profit from the war. From lives lost and broken. Yes. You would think that, ignorant as you are. Wall off your mind. 
They say it's what your kind do best. Do you see the irony in all this? No, not yet, it seems. But you will. Yeah, there are some pretty nutty, nutty ways they, they make use of this white room in later games. I love how the grab does fucking nothing. I love how the, like, they grabbing me does fucking literally nothing. Definitely just run, but like there's not that many of them left. Now you guys gotta walk. Target of the day. Altair, wonderful to see you return to us. And how fared the mission? The deed is done. Talal is dead. Oh, I know, I know. In fact, the entire city knows. Have you forgotten the meaning of subtlety? A skilled assassin ensures his work is noticed by the many. No. A skilled assassin maintains control of his environment. We can argue the details all you'd like, Malik. But the fact remains, I've accomplished the task set to me by Al Mualim. Go then. Return to the old man. Let us see with whom he sides. You and I are on the same side, Malik. Fast forwarding memory to a more recent one. I, I, I like Malik a lot as a character. They do a lot with him, specifically, especially since he is the one who, like, was most directly wronged by Altair. But I do like what they end up doing with the White Room in later entries, especially, especially particularly Origins. What's the problem now? I'm getting weird temperature readings. I think the Animus is overheating. Christ, it's always something. How long? Too soon to tell. These delays are unacceptable, Miss Stillman. I want progress reports every hour. It's gonna be a while, Desmond. I love the, like, oh, this is unacceptable. I need you to take a break every hour to give me a report on it, as opposed to just, like, checking in. The fucking worst managers in the, in the country, or in the world, are those kinds of managers. This is so bad. Please give me a detailed report every fucking hour. I'm trying to fix the issue, dude. I have, to, I have stuff to do. Fuck you. Why don't you go lie down or something? Get some rest. You wanted a report. Stay in the fucking call. I don't. I don't know why that's a link. That's amusing to me, though. You will quit the game. Currently, no. We should probably wait. We should probably at least go back into the animus. What the hell? 
Someone's been in here. Sure, a little bit longer. Looks like some kind of access code. Be a code for us to leave our room whenever we desire. Rise and shine. We've got quite a day ahead of us. You're in a good mood this morning. Miss Stillman has made some modifications to the Animus. You should be able to remain inside even longer now. And help you with your treasure hunt. This is serious business, Mr. Miles. I don't think you fully appreciate the work that Abstergo does. Maybe because I don't actually know what you people do. We change the world. Every day, in a hundred different ways. Did you know that nearly every single breakthrough of the past millennia, be it medical, mechanical, or philosophical, has come from Abstergo or its predecessors? That's a bold claim, Doc. Think you might be exaggerating a bit? Not in the slightest. Oh, we certainly don't take the credit. That would arouse far too much suspicion. We choose our beneficiaries with great care. Why? Yes. Isn't it obvious? It means we're in control. But how? What makes you guys so special, so smart? That you happen to invent all these things while us mere mortals stumble around like idiots? Wait to be for fair, it. we don't invent them. We find them. Find them? They're gifts, Mr. Miles. From those who came before. I, for I did not realize that those who came before started in Assassin's Creed 1. I had somehow forgotten that detail. Because those who came before is probably the worst part of Assassin's Creed. <laughs> oh boy. And we'll get to that probably when we start the Ezio trilogy. We'll have to continue this discussion later. Time's wasting. Yeah, the, the Mayan apocalypse bullshit started apparently in Assassin's Creed 1. Morning, Desmond. Yeah. Who knew? Hi. And this will be where we call it. We will start the next memory block. next time. Let's go, Mr. <sighs> but I did not realize that the very first game was the one that ruined the franchise. Wow. That's that is a revelation for me. Doomed from the very start is correct. It is. <laughs> wow, okay. Um, because without getting into the require me to get into the future games, almost everything to do with the ancients, those who came before, is terrible. In retrospect, Everything that has to do with those who came before is terrible for this scare for this franchise. It it is entirely bad. Every part of it is bad. In a way that like really really dilutes a lot of what makes the and because so much of the modern stuff is focused on the Isu crap it also ends up getting like that that taste that bad poisonous isu taste in your mouth ugh shit Whew. 
the more I think about the Ancients, the, the, the sillier the whole franchise becomes. And they can't do away with it because it's become such a core part of the franchise, but they really fucking should. They can't, but they should. Oh, well. We don't live in a timeline where the Assassin's Creed franchise becomes the Hitman games that I wanted them to, to be. We don't live in that timeline. But maybe one day we will. I mean, I look, Shadows looks pretty good. Maybe, 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 because they took it so, because if you play, well, Mirage is a lot like this game, but refined. It's just the story sucks, so I don't care about the story. But the actual gameplay is great. Um, so maybe Shadows will do a, a good job of, like, actually incorporating more of the Assassin's Creed oneness that I actually want from the franchise. We'll see. For now, though, uh, we're going to call it here. I am Brandon Carey. This is Assassin's Creed 1 from 2000 and fucking 7. This game came out in 20 2007. And I will see all of you next time. To answer your question, though, Kelly, no. The Isu are still very much part of the Assassin's Creed lore. But... Goodbye for now. Take care.